On Tuesday night, Brazil's federal police made public with the evidence it is using for its indictments of former President Bolsonaro and his cronies for plotting to enact a military coup in 2022. A correspondent, Brian Mir, has more. Last night in Brasilia, the federal police released an 882-page report on the indictments they made last week of 37 people for planning to plot a military coup to prevent Luis Inácio Lula da Silva from taking power in January 2023. Among those indicted, former President Jair Bolsonaro, vice presidential candidate Walter Braga Neto, a general who first became active during Brazil's brutal military dictatorship, which ended in 1985, General Augusto Heleno, who was implicated in an auto coup attempt led by his boss, General Silvio Frota, in the late 1970s. Frota, Wagner Neto, and Augusto Elena were all members of an internal group within the military of hardliners called the Tigradas, which never conformed to the return of civilian rule. Now, according to the report, the evidence, which is based on testimonies of plea bargains, recorded conversations, documental evidence, and also um, conversations in chat groups between the different plotters, shows that there were six cells created to help move forward the plans of the coup. One of them started in 2021 and used social media to try and undermine the population's confidence in the electoral system. Another one was tasked with covert activities. Among these covert activities were the planned assassinations of Lula, Alckmin, and Moraes. Now, it's interesting to note that the meetings where the planning took place for these assassinations took place in the house of General Walter Braga Neto. So for now, as the population processes all of this information, the Attorney General has the responsibility of opening formal charges. The sources I have in Brasilia tell me that this is probably going to happen after the Christmas holiday in the beginning of 2025.